What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. Today, I'm gonna share a video with you guys from our Mountain Ops and Outfitted Hangout. But first, before I do that, I wanna do a little recipe. Show you what Bridget and I are cooking up for dinner tonight. Gotta give credit to Chad Mendez. I've totally stole this idea off of his Instagram. So I saw some stuff that he made the other night, which by the way, Chad is probably one of the most talented wild game chefs that I know and I'm I'm not joking at all the guy just knows how to cook for sure and he always uses wild game which is uh, super cool but tonight it's gonna be like these little hamburger shish kebabs I need to find my shish kebabs first but we're gonna be using this the camp chef smoker Bridget has this smaller version so we're starting that up right now getting that heated up and we're gonna start with this elk hamburger meat that I got from this is actually off my Utah bowl all right so brussels sprouts are in there baking the camp chef smoker is a smoking out there oh yeah it's getting really smoky so yeah that thing's going good that's nice we're gonna cook on 375 today so i'm gonna start with burger worcestershire sauce a little bit of sweet baby rays probably put some seasonings in it as you can see we have a whole bunch I got this at the expo, Money Maker Rub. He said this was good for slow cooked meats. This is the first time I've ever done it, so I don't necessarily have a recipe. I'm just gonna try to mix a bunch of stuff that I know I like, and we're gonna see how they turn out. So there's a little bit of that. Looks like it's got some salt in there and different herbs. This thing has all kinds of good stuff in it. Sweet Baby Rays, a little bit of this. Again, I don't have measurements for anything. Typically don't ever. So throw that together and I'm just going to use my hands to mix it up. I'll have to call Chad to see exactly what his recipe is on this because whatever he posted looked pretty dang good. I've done this making barbecue burgers. You can pretty much do the same thing that I just did and then make yourself a big old patty. But we're going to try to throw it on the skewers. I don't ever have fat added in any of my wild games. So this being so lean it's going to be hard to stay together. But hopefully if we can form it uh the stick will help it stay together and there won't be a whole lot of rotating out on the smoker you basically just sit it in there and maybe flip it once this is what i've got done i've got this bag of skewers and it, they look like beef hot dogs uh so again i have no clue what i'm doing and maybe i'm completely missing something i just saw a picture on chad's instagram he had these on skewers so i'm just gonna throw a skewer through each one of them and uh, get them ready for the smoker. The final product that I've got, I'm gonna take this out to the smoker. So, I think it's, the smoker is, oh, it's hot for some reason. I have it on 375 and it's at 410. We'll try it anyways. They're on there. This could end real bad, I don't know. That meat is not very uh, compact, so it might just fall apart. This could be a total wreck. There they are. Hey, look. Look perfect. The ones on the top are definitely looking pretty good, but it's hot in there. I don't know what the deal is. It went to 400, and I just had it on 375, so I'm going to pull those suckers off. And uh, get some dinner finally. Camp Chef got a little hot there at the end. I don't know why it got so hot, but they're cooked through for sure. And depending on the thickness, will kind of be uh, the deciding factor on how cooked they're through. But this piece, for sure, is all the way cooked through, just like that. So, yeah, this has got the barbecue sauce, the seasoning, the Worcestershire sauce, and it takes. Tastes honestly like a steak. Anyways, turned out pretty good. Bridget has her her three over there. She's doing broccoli and cheese. Cheesy broccoli. I've already eaten like half of my Brussels sprouts. Or like 90%. Yeah, I'm gonna just look. Oh, That's so all I got sad. left. Just enough for dinner, but. I'd like to do this again, but honestly, I want to get a hold of Chad to see kind of what his secrets are. The hamburger logs are a little inconsistent. I'm sure that one will be really, really good. This one will be a little overcooked. And these two will probably be pretty good. Overall, the flavor is great. If you guys want to try it, I would just recommend putting in your favorite seasonings. 
and trying it that way. And if anybody has any recommendations on this recipe, please put them in the description box below. For now, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the little mountain ops hangout that we did. A ton of fun and surprisingly, a lot of people showed up and even more surprisingly, a lot of people participated in the little competitions we had, the little challenges. So I'll leave you guys with that. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you on the next video. What's up guys? Welcome to the first ever Mountain Ops Outfitted Hangout. Just winging it is the best way to do it. We don't know what we're doing, but people showed up. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna sell some outfitted stuff. We're gonna have some fun challenges and just have a good time. So let's go. Yeah, this whole hangout was started between, you know, Jordan and I always having this idea. Let's just get everyone together. Like this is just for a good time. We just wanna have to get everybody together. And we're, we appreciate the support we received through Mountain Ops, Hush, Outfitted, etc. so much. I just, I just don't know how to give back all the time and just coming here and hanging out and having fun seemed like a good idea. Yep. This gym was like a vision that the Mountain Ops team has had for years. So once we had it, I just knew we had to do some type of event here sometime. And Outfit, it seems to fit with it well. So we're gonna just kind of have a good time out on the floor. If anybody is interested in the clothing, we're gonna have everything for sale here. Credit cards, cash, we have joggers, which like Jordan's wearing, uh, shirts that you're seeing around, shorts that you're seeing around. So a little bit of everything, tank tops and whatnot. So if anybody wants to try on clothing, this rack is gonna be full of, I'm gonna to try to get one of each size out and then there is restrooms around yep, the corner this way that you guys come can actually in. try them on and see Everyone how they fit. In. <laughs> We're gonna have a bench or body weight challenge. So we got a scale over there. You're gonna weigh yourself. We'll rack that much weight on the bench and we'll see how many reps you can do it. So just trying to get people to push themselves, get out of your comfort zone. We'll set up people here, here, and here, as well as here so we can have more people hanging. What we're gonna ask though, is anybody who's waiting, we're gonna, we're gonna rely on an honor code because we have we believe in integrity here at Mountain Ops. So pull your phone out, push start when they start, and stop when they stop. And then submit that to me, I'll be the person that keeps all the scores. So we'll just do that so as you come, we'll get you set up, and we'll start you off, and then we'll go through the, the hanging challenge. This will just be the dip station, the chip and dips. So how many dips can you do, okay? So you'll do as many dips as you can, and then you'll have Trevor will record that, have your name, and then if you feel like once you get done, you weren't satisfied, you want to try and challenge yourself again based on what you did the first time, you can do as many times as you want. Um, this is our 200 meter row. How many of you here have done rows before? Okay, plenty of you, that's awesome. So, how fast can you do 200 meters on row? That's gonna be the key here. All out sprint. You should, you should look like spilled milk when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> just, you just see how long you can hold it like this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wait, wait, no, there you go. Butterfly. You guys gotta, you gotta weigh in right here first and bench your body weight for reps. Nine. Keep going, 10. Keep going. 11. 12. Mike, let's go. Get 20. Get 20. 15. Keep going. Come on. 15. One more. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Come on. I got a couple more. Don't worry about me. Come on. 20. Oh, that's giving out, brother. <laughs> Done. Yeah. 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 Good job, man. That's impressive. That's impressive. 
Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>